my dear students how are you hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah my continuous discussion about english in my previous class i discussed about grammar today i shall discuss about composition <coughs> the composition consists of some topic they are letters paragraphs essays or composition emails dialogue etc today i shall ask you a question can you tell me what type of media we we use for communicating our ideas can you tell me what type of media we we use for that purpose every day we provides our information to others we share our ideas to others by a method can you tell me which method will we adopt for that purpose okay my dear students we use letter or email for that purpose letter or emails by letters and emails we share our information to others we communicate our information our ideas to others so now i am discussing about letter and emails first of all let me discuss about letters can you tell me what is letter actually a letter consists of some messages including her or his or opinion to others students can anybody tell me how many how many classes or how many types letter in english there are two types of letters in english one is formal and another is informal can you explain about formal letter a formal letter contains some essential parts in due formal format or style they consist of some official language and it is written to a office 
so there are some information and the ideal formal letter should have the following eight parts there are eight parts in a formal letter senders address number 1 a senders address senders address date insert address insert address salutation salutation subject line E S body Z closing H signature Okay, my dear students. Suppose this is a letter. This is a base. You will write a letter by using this base. So you have to maintain all eight. information eight parts first of all sender's address top of the page and date top of the page inside address inside address all are top salutation my dear sir this is celebration subject line subject line means what is the subject of that letter body the main explanation main is this main information of that letter closing ever yours sincerely yours yours faithfully etc signature at the below of the letter you will put you the address is signature or the sender's signature the letter who sent to the address you should put their signature so students when i am writing business letters you have to maintain another rule in your business letter you have to maintain some special information for that purpose when writing business letters a special attention is needed to the format including line spacing indenting line spacing there will be line spacing indenting 
line spacing, indenting, and use of punctuation mark. Indenting, indenting, and punctuation mark. Punctuation, punctuation mark. Oh yeah. You will write these dead letters. You have to make them this three part line spacing. You have to maintain the spacing, space line. Indenting. What is it indent? Indenting. Punctuation. Marks and capital letters. So students. Now I am discussing about emails. For emails, students must write the email ID. Email ID, subject and content. Email ID. Email ID, subject and content. Content. When you will write an email to other person, you will have to write for any office or you personal man so you have to maintain this three part email id original email id indenting direct in a genuine email when you will write a genuine email you have to maintain this three part email id subject and content so students, now I am giving you an information about letters. Figure of an envelope or a stamp is not needed. You will not need to draw an envelope. But address can be written. But you should have to write their address. Yet, if any student provides them, it will not earn them any extra credit or penalty. For email student must write the email ID, subject and content as written in a genuine email. Students should be taught in the class that there should be a considerable margin and indenting in the answer script. However, if the answer script has no margin, there should be some penalty for the candidate for a poorly organized writing. We needed to be careful about the word limit. It is usually acceptable to be 10% above or below the word limit. 10% 10% above or below the word limit. So, for example, a 200 word assignment should be between 180 and 220 words. When you will write 200 assignment, assignment should be between is between 180 and 220 words. No problem. But if the instruction says something like something like 
write not more than 200 words, you must not exceed the word limit. So similarly, if the instruction says write at least 200 words, then you have to write at least 200 words to be credited. At least minimum 200 words. And when, when you have to write an assignment 200 word, a 200 word should be between 180 and 220 words. So students, now I am giving you an assignment for your home task. So you will write this assignment on your notebook. An application to the head teacher and application to the head teacher head teacher for annual picnic annual picnic right In 150 words. So next week you will upload the letter on your WhatsApp group. So students, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you will stay at your room. So so much for the day. Be safe and healthy. Thank you all.